Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Dr. Frankenstein here, aka Ken Turner. So I just want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. Hope you're enjoying your time off. As you can see, there's my tree right here, nicely decorated with some vintage ornaments as well as some Nightmare Before Christmas ornaments. And I'll show it lit up because the branches are actually uh, designed to light up themselves. And in this Christmas build video, I'm going to be making a very special set. This is the Christmas X-Wing. Now this is set number 4002019. Now this was given exclusively to LEGO employees in December of 2019. I got a really good deal on mine through Bricklink. Unfortunately it didn't come with the box or the Yuletide Squadron pilot. Uh, I also have two out of the three uh, instruction booklets as well. But I've custom built a Squadron pilot instead and I'll be using this in that set. Now this set also comes with a Christmas Yoda and an R2-D2. I'll be going through all these Star Wars Christmas minifigures that you see in front of me, as well as building a couple of these Christmas pit droids. So this set comes in three pieces. The first one is a sleigh. The next one is the base, which is an igloo that holds up the X-Wing itself. So I'll do the build and then go through everything that comes in the set at the very end. So without further ado, may the force be with you. So that was the build for the Christmas X-Wing. I'm going to go through everything that came in the set, 
including the instructions that I got. And then I'll also go through all these Star Wars minifigures that you see in front of me. So let's go through the instructions. So this one is for the X-Wing. And as you can see inside, there's some artwork. There's a top-down view of the X-Wing. Here's a little write-up for the 20th anniversary of LEGO Star Wars. So it started in 1999, and this one went till 2019. Here's some more artwork for the set. So you can see the little base there that can hold up the Christmas X-Wing, as well as the Yuletide Squadron uh, pilot, R2-D2, and the Christmas Yoda. And then it went into the instructions right there. And then this was just the instructions for the igloo base. So let's go through the, all these uh, Star Wars Christmas minifigures first. So here is Emperor Palpatine. You can see some nice printing for that torso for the uh, ugly Christmas sweater. It comes with the hood and just some more printing on the back of the sweater as well. There is Emperor Palpatine. Next up we have uh, Santa Darth Vader. He comes with this little Christmas mug. You can see the uh, Santa robe over his suit and then the belt over all that. There's some really nice printing on the legs and torso. He also comes with this red cape and if you lift up uh, there's no back printing on this one. But it's a really nice minifigure in the Christmas Star Wars collection. Next up we have an all red protocol droid. You can see the front torso printing, the all red arms, legs, and head, and then just some more back printing right there. So I thought this one would be a nice one to add to the Christmas Star Wars collection. Next up, we have a couple of the R2 series astromech droids. So this first one is in this really nice shade of red with the front torso printing, head printing, and back of the head printing as well. And then we have this darker shade of red, sort of maroon color, same torso printing and head printing as well. And then there's this very special R2 series astromech droid that looks like a uh, snowman. Comes with the top hat and you can see the printing for the carrots. And then he has some uh, back of the head printing. Next up we have IG-11 and he's carrying uh, Grogu in his Christmas uh, outfit. You can see Grogu there with his scarf and sweater printing. And IG-11 is holding a wrench. He has some head printing. And I might change out this uh, translucent uh, one by one in orange to a probably a red color just to make it more festive. And here's the first of my custom Yuletide uh, Squadron pilots. So this one, I had to get the uh, torso and legs separate. And then this uh, white uh, Christmas bag actually came with the set. He has his beard, his helmet, and his translucent red visor that you can pull down onto his face. Here's the second Yuletide Squadron pilot. This time he doesn't have any uh, leg printing, but he does have the same face, helmet, and visor, and beard as well. And here's the third and final Yuletide Squadron pilot. He's carrying this green Christmas bag. This one also came in the set. This one's a little different. He has some clone trooper torso and leg elements. He does have this yellow minifigure face or head. And he also has some really nice back printing as well, along with the red uh, visor and white helmet. And then I have a couple of pit droids. These Christmas pit droids have these white arms, red hats, and these one uh, one, uh, one by one in white to top off the hats. This one came with a brown Christmas bag. I think I'll be putting these two pit droids on the base beside the Christmas Yoda. So that's it for the Star Wars Christmas minifigures. So let's get to the set now. So let's start with the R2-D2 sleigh. So there's R2-D2 manning the uh, sleigh. There's some presents in the back in green and yellow, topped off with these flower pieces in light blue. You can see these gold bars lining the side, these decorative elements at the front. There's also these one by one translucent red pieces for the uh, headlights. And then again, these translucent red pieces on the back on either side there. Now if I open up the presents, you can see they come with something inside. So this particular present has a gold 
uh, minifigure trophy. And that's the same for this one in here. And then these smaller yellow ones have a rollerblade inside uh, in uh, dark gray. And these uh, presents can actually go on the X-Wing as well. I've also had this little snowman to the uh, scenery around, along the base. It's a pretty simple build with the, this rounded cylinder piece, the scarf, these uh, limb pieces, this all-white minifigure head, and this witch's hat. So here is the final minifigure in the set. This is the Christmas Yoda. You can see his Santa torso, dark green short legs, these red arms and white gloves, and this really nice Yoda head. On the back you can see some printing, and he's carrying a little candy cane in his belt. So we'll take off the X-Wing from the base so I can show you a little more details for the igloo. So here's the front of the igloo. You can see some torches right here along with these pine trees. There's some decorative elements here with these green limbs and red one by ones along the front of the entrance. And on this side, on the interior of the base, you'll see a blue rollerblade and a rubber ducky. And on the other side of the igloo, you can see this buildable tech instrument. I'm not sure what it does, but it probably is for calling out to the X-Wing. And the igloo is topped off with these nice slope pieces in white that go all the way around. And on the top, here's the entrance to the igloo. And right on the side is a printed piece for the 20 years of LEGO Star Wars. Now on the top of the igloo, you can see what looks like a antenna, but this also serves as a holder for the X-Wing. So let's go through the Christmas X-Wing itself. Now there's some really nice white and red and gold decorative elements all around the X-Wing. I especially like these candy cane designs on the wings. Here is the cockpit. Inside you can see the seat as well as a printed piece for the dash. Now at the back of the cockpit you can see a little opening and that's where R2-D2 would go. So he fits perfectly right inside there. I'll also show you what it looks like with the X-Wing uh, Yuletide Squadron pilot inside. So I'll just pick one right now. So I'll just take it out of his base, take out the white uh, Christmas bag. Let's fold up his legs and I just put him down in his seat and there you can see him inside and then you can put down his visor as well and then the hood or windshield. Now as I rotate it you can see the wings and thrusters on the back. Now you can see all these gold elements for the grates, the hubcaps that create the back of the X-Wing. So here's what it looks like from the bottom. So there is a little landing gear at the front here and at the uh, midsection. And then where the uh, antennas go over there is in these two little holes and that's what holds up the X-Wing on the base. And it wouldn't be an X-Wing if the wings didn't uh, pop out. So there's a little uh, lever right here. And if you push it forward, you can see the wings expanding. And then you can retract them just by pulling back this lever. And what enables that is that these uh, four rubber bounds, two on each wing that are in the back and at the front right there. So now I'm going to put the X-Wing back on the base and I'll show you how that works. So there's the antenna and then you just line it up with these two holes and then it just slides it in place like that and it makes a really nice display. And then you can just expand the wings again like that. Add in the Christmas Yoda. The little snowman can go just right there. And then the sleigh. And I think it's going to look really nice on anyone's shelf. So that's it for the video. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what was your favorite part of the set or what was your favorite uh, Star Wars Christmas minifigure. I think somewhere down the line I'd like to do a build for uh, Darth Vader's TIE Advance X1 X1 Starfighter in a Christmas uh, sort of mashup like this one. But stay tuned for more Christmas videos coming uh, this week. Be sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!